Part of making sure that your child develops good study habits is ensuring that their work is corrected the same at home as it is in the Kumon Centre. This video will show you how. First off, make sure you have the right answer book for the level and subject. Then, check that your child has written their name, start and finishing times on the front, and summarise their total time taken. Using a red pen, start correcting. Make sure you have the right level and the right page with the right set of questions. After that, you just go down the page, checking each answer. If there's a mistake, like here, circle the question number in red pen and move on. On this page, no mistakes were made, so you can draw a big circle across the page in red pen. And oh dear, here's one more mistake, so we draw a small circle again. When you've completed the worksheet, summarise the total number of mistakes on the front, so here, with two mistakes, we say minus two, and give it back to your child to correct. When they've corrected it, you need to mark it again. If they've fixed a mistake, cross out the little circle. Here, the mistake hasn't been corrected, so we change the score to minus one and give it back to them again. Now, they've fixed all their mistakes, so they get 100%. Make sure to write that clearly on the front, so they know they've finished their work. Now we're going to correct some English. Again, check for the name and times. Make sure that you have the right answer book for the level. When you're marking English, it's very important to remember that they can't just have the answer right with information, they need to have the spelling and punctuation correct too. There's a full page of correct answers, but on the next page, there's a full stop missing from the answer, so that's wrong. When the worksheet is corrected, summarize again on the front and send it back to your child to correct. Again, full stop is fixed. So now they've got 100%. Well done. Now, you've got to fill out the home study record sheet, which shows us how your child has been doing over the week where they haven't been in class. Make sure you have the right record sheet for the subject. So maths goes in maths and English goes in English. And you write on, the first page number of the first page in the workbook. So for maths, that's A71A. The date your child did the worksheet on, the time it took them to do that, and the total number of mistakes on their first try, which in the case of our maths was two mistakes. If it took them more than one go to correct it, write that down too. And now for English, we do the exact same thing, but first we wrap up the maths homework. Level, page number, time taken, number of errors, and the number of times it took to correct the errors. And then we'll wrap up the English. So at the end of the week, your child has two home study record sheets, each one with a big pile of worksheets wrapped up in it. And that's how to mark the Kumon way.